Jazz Chat. I'm Jess Adele. Today I'm here with Jamie and Kira, and we are going to be talking about the best moments that happened in this week's episode and rewarding them with our rose. So we're going to start with going over who our front runner Rose was for last week. So our favorite girl thus far, mine's Victoria P because she's adorable and she's super cute, and I love her. My favorite girl is the best girl, Hannah Ann. Deal with it. My favorite girl from last week's episode was Madison, You're but boring. something over the last. <laughs> week something came out about her that was oh. not necessarily bad but just really like awkward and cringy she posted a picture like after the episode on her instagram of her date with peter and she comments on her own picture saying something like beautiful date madison you are so genuine and real oh. with her official account what? it was quickly screen grabbed put online and people are like okay obviously she like runs her own fan account and forgot to switch between the two so she quickly oh, deleted it. No. Yeah, she quickly deleted it. And then like her sister was like, oh, I was the one that commented by mistake on her phone. And her friend was also like, oh, I did it. But like all these people are trying to cover for her. Oh, no. But obviously she commented it on her own picture. <laughs> ironically saying you are so genuine and real on her own picture. Oh. Yeah, everyone is making fun of her online. So if you see you are so genuine and real jokes, it's referring to that. Cause I just think he's very genuine. I don't know how I feel about her now. Not feeling super <laughs> like right Sorry. reasons, so. <laughs> So it starts <laughs> off with Hannah continued. Peter was like, you're Very the one who said, said no to me. I, I never, never said, said no, no to you. Yeah. And, and then Hannah was like, but sometimes I get bored and text my ex three months later. And I'm like, you up? <laughs> Literally, she was the you up girl this whole episode. She's at some point is like, can I have a hug? And sits on him like damn Santa Claus. <laughs> get off him. <laughs> Girls in the next room, how do you like sit writing, down. writing their weird sex story <laughs> yeah, like, like super traumatically? Like, oh god. Okay, the best part was when he walks away from Hannah finally and he's covered in sparkles. I was about to say that! Like he's that like, looks <laughs> he's like covered in sparkles. Like, hey guys, uh so dates canceled, oh, y'all. Yeah. I need Peter. Where's Peter? Yeah. Now that my jeans have all the sparkles on them. Okay, group date one of this episode. Well, it's, literally, it's literally like group date one part two. First thing I want to mention, McKenna was like, oh, Pete, you have to dance with me. You said we were going to have a dance. Like they had this really <laughs> awkward <laughs> dance off. <laughs> and then he does like literally two moves and then he's dancing with his face. And I was like, all of that was the cringiest thing yeah. ever. And then he proceeds to do his pilot Pete. He's like, take off ladies. He loves scooping him up and just putting him on the Lion, the Witch, the Wardrobe. And it gives me <laughs> PTSD every time. Because I just hear, I just remember bonking <laughs> his head, head off oh, of the lights yeah. on the pool table. <laughs> He's improved since. Uh, so another girl that I want to talk about at the group date, Sydney. And she was just talking about her struggles and some bullying. And I just thought it was really obviously like real and open. Pete took every everything super well and uh, he basically ends up giving her the group rose and I think that was a way better decision than McKenna. Yeah, yeah, I was like, okay, McKenna's gonna be so salty about yeah. that, but like, you just awkward face danced. How about try dancing with your heart next yeah. time? How Ooh. about that? Right. Well said, well Thank said, you. Jess. Can you guys guess who's coming next? <laughs> of course, <laughs> we queen. have our queen. Girl, queen. Natasha. A superstar through and through, like she keeps having the most like standout, hilarious moments. She was just bringing it on this date. I mean, I think all the girls were upset when the group date, like the first part was canceled. Yeah. She was clearly the most upset, most yes. outspoken she, about she, it. She's the most real. Um, she was it. so funny about it. Yeah. Like at one point she says, the nerve, the nerve, the nerve. And she actually confronts Peter about it. This whole situation is like, mm. Not happy about this at all. She kept making comments about Hannah's just yeah. always around. Every day I've seen you, I've seen her. I feel like all the other girls were like, it's okay, Peter. And then she was like, it's not okay. <laughs> yes. I'm angry and you need to fix this. And I was like, get it done. Yeah. I am not going to compete with your ex. Loved her. Great moment for Natasha. I'm pretty sure she's getting yeah. all of our roses. She's getting all of our moment. roses. Yeah. Cocktail party. Ooh. I want to start off by talking about Madison. So they're talking, then he's like, I have a gift for you. <laughs> she opens it up and it's a framed <laughs> picture of her with his family. Weird. And it's so Like I would have run. Like if I went on one <laughs> date with a guy and the second date he was like, here's a framed photo of you and my family. I'd be like, bye. But I feel like this is especially worse. Cause it's like, okay, in this show, the girls work very hard to make impressions on him. Right. But I feel like he's working way too hard to make yeah. impressions on them when there's like 30 other girls. Mm -hmm. You can't do stuff like that. 
that one, there's 30 <laughs> other girls. So another girl I want to mention from the cocktail party is my number one bad bitch, Lexi. I love her so much. Yes. No one else does. She's I love gets her. like, what are you yeah, about? I know, but she gets like no screen time, so like, true, it's fine. But I'm True. over it. But she was <laughs> she is like one of the most like chill and like genuinely dope girls on this season totally. that isn't gonna make it far, but I wanna talk about her until I can't anymore. Good for you, bitch. Yeah. So she like goes up to Pete and is like so chill. She's like, Yeah, like if my ex showed up, like I'd be shaking too. Like, no worries, dude. Like I was like, You're so yeah, dope. She's just so chill. And yeah, and, and like the rest of the episode, she was like really supportive of the other girls. Like she was like, Yes, bitch, to like Kelsey halfway through, and she was like T telling Hannah Ann that she did a good job. Like, she's never salty. She's just yeah. like, she's just so a good, unbothered. Cool person. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Wait, though, okay? What? Something super awkward that I need help. Like, someone please explain what the heck happened. Because she has like a little one on one time with Pete. Yeah. And he gives her the little red convertible, yeah. right? But before that happens, he's like, Wait, remind me oh, again? Oh, yes. yes! Did yes. he actually Ho forget? He definitely the forgot. Me is like, he, did. he forgot, but the producers remembered. So she was like, "Hey, what's up? I'm Lexi," and he was like, "Who the f who are you?" And she was like, "I drove the car," and he was like, "You came in a red convertible." Yeah. I what? I did remember that. And oh, did you? I have a car. <laughs> he literally just was about to leave the show and go with Hannah B. And now he's like, "Better make out with everyone and also give them presents." He's a mess. He's a mess. I'm a mess. But I love him. I love him still. A mess we love. I don't know, I'm kind of over him now. I'm over it. Stop. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm a little bit over him because he needs to sort out his baggage. It's okay, okay? honestly, everyone has issues. It's the most real I've ever seen a bachelor be, not so like prim and proper and knowing what's happening. He's actually like struggling and he should. It's a really weird show. I did have some good conversations tonight that I enjoyed. Next, Kelsey. It started with her being really bothered by McKenna stealing Pete away. I don't tolerate snakes. I don't like them. They're my least favorite animal. McKenna had already had him the night before, like on their group date. So she was bothered by that and pulled some McKenna aside, aside. But the thing is that Kelsey was like too many drinks deep. She oh, literally goes, there's a disrespect and there's, and you disrespected me. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you make your bed and you have to lay in it too. All the girls are chilling and talking. Mm -hmm. Kelsey's having issues talking with the group like, yeah. oh, my champagne thing. And then she's like talking to the camera and saying that she's a hopeless romantic and she's saving the bottle of champagne for a really special moment. They're setting it up. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> in the distance, <laughs> and everyone's like, no, 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 no. Like she's a ticking time bomb. Like, no, 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 don't cry. Don't cry. Yeah. It's okay. Shh, 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 shh. And like, and she's like, and everyone's like, shut it down, shut it down, shut it down. It's not worth it. You don't know. It's probably not. It probably was not your champagne. She walks over to see like what's happening. And she sees and, and feet with the bottle open and she's like, and she leaves and goes to the bathroom. Yeah. And then Pete is like, I'm going to go help her. I might be her husband. And Do you want Peter? No, 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 no. When she finally gets her moment with the champagne, so I think this was actually the bottle that was supposed to be for Hannah Ann, and then he's like, glass, or drink from the bottle. She says, I'm not always a classy bitch. <laughs> Opens it up, starts drinking it, and it explodes her nose. all over her face. I've never seen anything like that in my life. I've been watching this show for more than 10 years, and that is the hardest I've ever laughed at this I show. Died. My mom oh, was my like, gosh. that's gonna be a gift. <laughs> It's called gift, right? I love you, mom. <laughs> Shout out to your mom. It was like imagine, like you, insane. Someone like stole your man. Someone stole your bottle. You slammed a door in your man's face. Now you're like, okay, fine. You Let's know what? I'm still strong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over it. it was so and good. then she has the audacity to actually, honestly, I don't like Hannah Ann that much, so it's fine. That she had the audacity, but she confronted Hannah Ann, right. my girl, sweet little Hannah Ann, my sweet girl, <laughs> and she like basically said all the things I've been wanting to say to Hannah Ann, but she was much more rude and like uncalled for. She was basically like, Hannah Ann, stop being so sweet. We know that's a facade, which it might be, but then she says all these like whack things, like calling Dude. her, you know, she's, she's calling her some swears. Some cusses, and then she says, The difference between me and you is that I'm not a fake bitch. <laughs> I was she like, She said that? She said that. Yep. That was her closing line. Oh my god, I just remember the I'm real, you're calculating. Yeah. And then my sweet girl, Hannah Ann, was just like, I'm not having any of this, and just kept saying, I acknowledge your opinion, <laughs> and we're moving forward. So composed. And walks away. <laughs> Meeting adjourned. So, which moment gets our rose? Without a doubt, Kelsey. Yeah. Kelsey. Kelsey. Rose ceremony!
I love that Hannah Ann was right beside Kelsey for the rose the best, ceremony. The best. We said goodbye to our girl Lauren, who you guys remember had the sparkly suit. Awesome, and sparkly ponytail. Pants yes. Bye Peyton, and goodbye to Courtney as well, who we haven't seen is. much of either. And then after the rose ceremony, they had the little toast moment. Peter was like, Kelsey, like make the toast. And she was like, no. Nah. And then Hannah Ann was like, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you make her look like that? She's not like she's that. She's made of porcelain. It's a theory I have. She makes the toast and she's like, yay, everything's great, let's drink. And then everyone goes to drink and she does not drink. She literally like half sips, looks around and is like, <laughs> only porcelain <laughs> dolls would do that because she doesn't have an esophagus. Group date number two for this episode. Yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it's the girl you guys are so yeah. yeah. And I like her, so I was very happy this episode. If it's a room full of people, I'm this group date was they went to be part of a fashion show for Revolve. I think she was just getting too much in her head, thinking about like how beautiful everybody is and not thinking She's, like, yeah. I just need to put together an outfit, yeah. have some fun, go down the hall, uh, the hallway, <laughs> down the runway right. and be a goof and like show my personality. She's just not a super confident person. So I get where she's coming from. Once she got out there, she kicked butt. She was she great. She was fierce yeah. as hell. Yeah, yeah. It was like, oh, who it is? Sasha fierce. And then comes off the runway and is like, what the oh. f I left it on me. Also, just have to say, that's not fair that they judged it off of the final round because yeah. like Victoria totally dominated that. Mm -hmm. Well, moving on to the cocktail party part of this, she at least got a little bit of redemption. She did get Peter's yes. rose. They had a yeah. cute little conversation about her being shy and him really wanting her to stay. Yes. So I, I think she's gonna go far and she got the rose. So she yeah. did get something. My she didn't get $50,000 worth of Revolve clothes, but she got a fake rose. <laughs> so do you guys think that she deserved the rose? How do you feel about that? It's not that I don't like her as a person. I just don't think she's cut out for the show at all. Like I, she, I think she's that. gonna quit before yeah. it even, before she even gets kicked out. Yeah. So yeah, I'm glad she got it for some, you know, boost of energy and a boost of confidence, but I don't really Yeah, like I agree with that. that. I really yeah. like her. I like her personality, but I think she's not right for the competition. No. She deserves somebody else yeah. in like a normal real yeah. life situation. Yeah. Yeah. For me, it might be a bit of a hot take. I thought she kind of came off insincere. Like I feel like she was very <laughs> flip floppy and I almost mm -hmm. felt like she was kind of playing up the whole, I'm gonna go home, I'm not right for this. You know, this. I'm not cut out for this show yeah. just to kind of like get the rose and kind of yeah. get Peter's attention. Pity rose. Yeah. No. Like, I do think it was really nice of him to validate her. Like that was a good move on Peter, but she comes off insincere. I think her voice is fake. Guys, she's using a crystal from Ari season no. voice. Like oh the God, sexy Ari. whisper. I don't love Victoria F. Oh no. Oh my God. I don't love her Hate either. To say it. The other part of the night was obviously the Kelsey Hannah Ann showdown. Hannah Ann in this episode becomes the first tattletale of the season. Yay. I knew it was gonna be her. Everyone keeps calling her the Luke P of this season, and I'm starting to see it a little bit, a little bit, a little bit more. But yeah, she basically tattletales on Kelsey. I understand her position of wanting to like bring it up to Peter. She wasn't bullying her. She was mean to her. She was very mean to her. She was mean to her one time. No, 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 it's like, okay, we stopped talking about this. Oh, she comes back, she's over on a full, full. Yeah. And then it's like, okay, the whole rose ceremony's over. Oh, coming back on her. No, I yeah. super disagree. Yeah. And then it was the next day and she's feeling great because she just like stomped on poor Hannah Ann who didn't do anything. So the whole thing is like, She's in the wrong entirety. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She built this whole situation yeah. up in her head. So for someone who built up the situation in their head to bully someone else, no, she was a bully. Yeah. I'm happy she was like, you know what? I'm not gonna let this bring my energy down and then I'm not acting totally like myself and I'm just not gonna tell him. No, I'm just gonna put it out in the open and say it as it is. Okay, so uh, who are we giving our roses to? I'm gonna give mine to Victoria F because I love Whoa! her. I know, I know. <laughs> I know, wow. hot take, hot yeah. take. I don't like her comedy, but I do love a redemption arc, so she gets my rose. Mine is gonna go to Hannah Ann, just to show my support after this champagne gate. I'm team Hannah Ann, so she's getting my rose. I'm actually gonna give this one to Victoria. All right, let's talk about our front runner roses for this week. My front runner rose, short and sweet, is going to our girl now, Hannah Ann. Yeah, you could I like it. I did, I'm team <laughs> Hannah Ann now, no yes. longer team Addison. Honestly, I think she handled herself really well throughout the episode. She's composed, she's obviously beautiful, seems really sweet, and I wanna see her go far. Kira, where are you at? 
My front runner is still Victoria P. No one in this episode impressed me. <laughs> Everyone made me really mad and like a little bit like anxious. So I'm still team Victoria P. There were some scenes from the next episode that made it look like she gets more screen time. Yay! Let yeah. us pray. Yes, my rose also goes to Hannah Ann. I really like you. So my first death row shout out has to go to McKenna. We didn't see oh. all that much of her in this episode, but every time she's on my screen, I'm so annoyed. Me too. She's yeah. rough, so she gets a shout out, but my actual death rose has to go to Kelsey. <laughs> yeah. I think the episode <laughs> explains itself. Champagne Gate was too much. Yeah. But I do think that she will be amazing in paradise, and I cannot wait yes. to see her there. Oh, no. Yes! That's oh, such a good it's point. Be a disaster. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Huh? Kelsey as well. I at first was like, no, she just had a rough day, and then she exploded and was very mean, and I don't think she should stay on the show anymore. Mm. But I also just want Hannah Ann to go home. Oh. I know. I know. I'm aware that she will be there until probably top three, but wouldn't it be so much easier if we got rid of the Luke P of the season right now instead of waiting until the okay. end and realizing that she sucks? <laughs> My death rose goes to Kelsey. Time to go to Champagne Island, baby. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, that is it for this week's episode. Make sure to let us know who you're giving your front runner rose to, who you're giving your death rose to. Just play the game along with us. Yeah. See you next time. See you. Bye. Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.